Okay, let's take a look at the sensor. This is a 16 megapixel sensor on a Fujifilm camera. Let's take a look at it. I can absolutely guarantee you that of all the countless cameras I've taken apart, Nikon, Canon, several Sonys. And by the way, you know a reason why Sony tells you uh, not to clean uh, your sensor if you own a, a Sony like A7R2? or A7. The reason for that is that the uh, contacts, which I'll show you in a second, are exposed. That means if any liquid drips on there, then that's going to cause an issue. It's going to damage your sensor. So that's the reason why Sony tells you that. Um, this The Fujifilm sensor is far more covered than I ever thought possible. Some people said, well, you said glass is evil. Well, it is. We're talking about super thin pieces of optical flats here. We're not talking about all these five pieces in total of optical flats don't even total to one-tenth of even a small element in a lens so it's certainly nothing to you know complain about as far as uh, um, here's the uh, CPU contacts those are gold plated on the back here there's no glass here okay on the back here you'll actually see this matte shield let me zoom in this matte shield is actually to keep down reflectance so when it actually hits the glass or the sensor underneath it like you were shooting into the sun, it uh, actually absorbs, because this regular black plastic is uh, too shiny, so there's a matte light absorbing shield uh, placed around there, so it keeps light from reflecting back from the uh, sensor glass, and uh, the uh, this, uh, CPU uh, shield, so it's a sensor, sensor and uh, CPU cover, it depends on the company, as far as this particular part, but that's what it is anyway, so there's no glass in there. And let's take this off. We have a single piece of really very finely air-coated anti-reflective coating, which is a vacuum-deposited uh, crystalline growth, actually. So we have one piece of glass here. And two, three, four here. Three, three pieces sandwiched. There's also an electrostatic, unlike Canon or Nikon, you see that gold flickering? There's an electrostatic barrier dielectric barrier doesn't matter when you say electrostatic or dielectric barrier around the perimeter of this which i've not seen on a nikon or canon or sony sensor that green hue is a infrared pass filter so it's uh, stopping so if you're going to do a full spectrum conversion or an infrared conversion actually people take the camera apart and then they take this out and go wink and then they put it back together so here we go on the sensor and as I told you in the prior video, this is the first sensor I've actually seen with a beveled and polished, of course it wasn't polished, it's actually beveled and has a polished to it, um, glass on the uh, sensor cover. It's the actual sensor. So if you ever worried about cleaning your sensor, yeah, I know i got fingerprints on it, doesn't matter. This is the actual Fujifilm made by Sony, 16 megapixel X-Trans sensor, found in the X-T1, yada, 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 yada. If you're ever worried about touching your sensor when you're cleaning, it's like, there's one piece of glass, two, three, four. <laughs> the only thing you're cleaning is this. There's a glass number five. So when you reach in there, it's like, oh my God, I'm touching my sensor. And it's like, no, you're not. <laughs> Do you, you see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? So this is officially ta -dun, ta -dun, the most shielded sensor that I've ever seen. There, nothing's, nothing's close to it. Nothing. One... Excuse me. One, two, three, four, and five. That's that's something. There we go. There's the 16 megapixel X trans sensor. Beautiful, isn't it? Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, and drop me a buck or two. Uh, tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. But uh, Fuji film. Fuji. Right there. See it. Fuji. Fuji. I'm packed and ready to go to Florida with uh, my female companion. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in Florida. Fuji.